Good evening guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I'm actually very happy because this week or sorry the last week was very profitable week uh, especially for those who have followed these technical analysis I posted last week. It was extremely uh, accurate and on point and I would like to share with you first uh, the results. So this is what I said will happen for the USDCHF. I mentioned that this level is perfect for sell. This was actually easy to predict and we can see the market has reversed exactly on point where I told you to place the sell option. Uh, the next trade was for the USDGPY where I mentioned that the pair will continue to go more up exactly until this level here. And because this is the nearest resistance to this breakout candle, so we can sell actually here and that is exactly what happened if we check the USDGPY we can see the reversal happened indeed on the same point exactly without even going a little bit more than that so it was a very good uh, trade for those who have entered it 130 pips uh, again congratulations to those who have entered it and AUD USD was actually on point as I told you it will go a little bit more up and that is what happened with the AUD USD we can see it here it just went up a little bit more for about 61 pips and then we have uh, the GBP USD as I told you now the pound is facing a strong bearish momentum but still it made one last movement up here and then reversed and if we check the GBP USD on the 4 hour chart uh, hold on one second. Just check. This is JPP USD. Ah, oh, daily. Sorry. Uh, if we go to the daily chart, we can see actually. Well, yeah, it didn't go up to this point as I mentioned. Here, but it went here. So it 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 indeed made a bu uh, a bullish reversal before actually start to go more down. So yeah, GBP USD as expected was tricky this week, and uh, last we have the Euro USD. As I said exactly, Euro USD will go a little bit more down to hit on this support level, and will start to go and bounce more up here. And if we check the Euro USD, it moved exactly as I mentioned. It went down here to this support level. And this, and this from this point here, I said that you can start longing the euro USD, you can start buying it, and we can actually see it now going more in profit for those who have bought the pair, especially from this uh, support level, and they are now on 80 pips of profit. So that was a very good week, especially for the USD GPY. I'm very happy about it. It was extremely accurate, and this is showing, thankfully, the real power of the way I am analyzing the market using hit and run strategy and understanding the support and resistance. So let's now go and start talking about what would gonna happen from my point of view for this upcoming week. So as usual we will start with the Euro USD. Now as I mentioned to you the Euro USD uh, now it's in a bullish momentum. Now when we are checking the daily chart we have this long week here and this long week here indicating a strong rejection on this support level meaning the pair most likely is unable to break out from this support uh, support uh, zone here and therefore we can here apply the breakout candle strategy if we draw the trend line we can see that the pair did not really close above this trend line here so I believe the market will continue to go more up but since I'm analyzing on daily candle so I believe for Monday we will see the market going a little bit more down uh, until hitting this support level here and then from this point we can start uh, buying the Euro USD and it's expected to go more up all the way until hitting on this resistance level. So again on Monday Euro USD is actually good for actually on Monday don't do anything for the Euro USD until you see what will gonna happen. Uh, there is a chance that we might actually miss the opportunity if the market continue to go more up We need to, to wait and see the market actually going more down to give us the best buying option possible 
don't start buying the euro USD immediately there is a still a chance that it might actually reverse and go more down and also of course there is a chance that it will continue to go more up but if you want to have a safe trade to be safe always wait for it to come more down to hit the support level retesting this level on the support zone and then start buying the euro USD and keep it on t until the pair hit on this uh, resistance level here now jumping to the GBP USD now the pound is actually tricky the reason is we heard about Theresa May she has announced her resignation on last Friday with the Brexit news and all of that uh, GPP in all pairs actually is fair force is actually having um, it's up and down we cannot really be sure what will gonna happen now we have to wait and see what will gonna happen but um, most likely what will gonna happen is that the pair is not gonna be stable I'm expecting for the GPP USD if we want to analyze it based on price action based on price action we can say that this pair should actually at this point go more up now what I believe that since we have this breakout candle uh, the market on Monday will actually I believe it will go down until hitting this support level here and then from this point we can actually start buying the pound the GBP USD but not more than this resistance here don't keep your trade more than uh, don't keep it until the pair so what I'm saying <laughs> don't hold your trade more than this resistance level if you see the candle actually reaching this resistance level here then immediately close your trade again I'm telling you the pound now is very tricky it's really hard to predict because no matter what again I'm telling you this strong bearish momentum is odd it's not normal it never happened uh, in very long time I believe since Brexit 2016 announcements therefore be very careful the pair technically is good for buying at this point here because we have this uh, price action as I said we have this doji and we have this very strong bullish uh, candle uh, therefore the pound is uh, tricky so if you must you can wait for the pair to go more down here uh, on this support level and then you can start buying the pair until hitting this resistance most likely the pair will be great for sell on this level right here if you see the pair reach this level you can actually start sell if you want to be really safe I suggest you don't buy the pound wait for it to go more up if it will go more up wait for it to reach this resistance and then start shorting the GBP USD and I believe it should go more down starting from this point all right let me just close that and let's go to the AUD USD let's see the AUD USD now it is still bouncing on the support level let's check on weekly chart uh, USD AUD USD seems to be going more down actually I believe it will continue to go more down until hitting the support level at the very bottom of this week here but is it gonna happen now not most likely uh, what I thinking is that the AUD USD will continue to go more up until hitting on this previous support here we have this bearish breakout candle so AUD USD could be actually very good for short at 0 0.966 sorry 69622 and then we can start selling uh, the AUD USD and I believe it will be fine to hold the position all the way until reaching the support level on 0 0.67700 so we can aim about 180 pips from this trade and again uh, please be wise and careful we have to wait to see if there will be any news that can change uh, the analysis but from my point of view and from technical analysis this is what will gonna happen I just want to increase this okay um, let's now go to the USD CAD USD CAD is still ranging for the past for the past month we can see it ranging on this uh, level here so it's actually quite boring to trade this pair 
and quite confusing to be honest because it has been ranging for quite a long time and I'm telling you the breakout from these rangings market uh, from this ranging market is going to be massive you want actually to take this opportunity but the problem is it's really hard to catch because we see so many fake breakouts here happened and even here we see the fake breakout on the support so I'm still sticking to my word I will keep it that the USD CAD should actually go more up I still believe that the USD CAD should go more up but again as I told you last week this might take weeks to happen so we cannot expect it to happen immediately so again it will be very risky to start buying the USD CAD right now we have to wait for it to reach the support level and from this support those who have bought from the support level have actually made profit I remember I said in my video once you see the candle come down to this support level here start buying the USD CAD and if you have followed my advice we can see how profitable this was it give about 116 pips now of course it's hard to get all of these pips so if you enter your trade here you might want to exit your trade at the nearest resistance which in this case was here so if you followed if, if you followed my uh, advice you could have got uh, approximately 90 pips from this trade anyway USD CAD if it come down again to this support level on 1.33815 it's actually good for buy and let's hope that the pair will continue to go more up again I'm telling you and I'm repeating again uh, I believe the USD CAD should actually come at this point here and then from here we can start actually buying the USD CAD and it should continue to go more up until hitting this resistance level here yeah so that was my point of view on the USD CAD now let's go to the USD GPY USD GPY is actually I think it will continue to go more down until hitting the support level here yeah because this this momentum here is very strong the bearish momentum is so strong and I don't think the pair will start moving immediately to be honest the pair in general should be going up but it's hard to predict from this point now it might actually start reversing immediately and go all the way up until hitting this resistance again retesting this level before actually start to go more down but there is a possibility we have to wait on Monday to see what will gonna happen what price action how can how the candle will open actually I think there is two scenarios possible here the first one is we can see the reversal happening immediately on this support level and the market will go up here until hitting this resistance before start falling more down the other scenario is the pair will continue to fall more down and if it does then it will bounce on this support level here and again if it does that then we can expect a reversal for the market to go more up until this level here exactly right here so we can expect the, the, uh, the reversal on the support to go all the way up until hitting this previous resistance remember guys I'm analyzing on daily candle so we can count on this resistance and we can see it was also a strong resistance and a strong support as well in the past so the pair might reverse at this point and then it might go down all the way so how to prepare for the USD JPY wait to see the candle how it will open on Monday if you see a reversal price action right here on this support then start buying the USD, uh, USD GPY and exit your trade at this resistance then you can start shorting it or just wait to see if the market will open below like for example if, it, uh, if the next candle opened on this level then wait for it to come all the way down to this support here and then start buying the USD GPY and keep your position only until this level and then you can start shorting the USD GPY now the last pair will be USD CHF now USD CHF is kind of tricky but I believe it should actually it has to come to this point here on the support 
uh, USDCHF is somehow tricky to be honest. Uh, let's go to the four hour chart and see. Now on the four hour chart, we can see it actually reversed on this resistance and went down again. This price action showing that the market might actually go a little bit more up. So let's see. It's not really easy to prepare uh, for the USDCHF right now, but um, if you must, I believe we have to wait for the pair to reach this resistance on 1.00303 and then from this point you can actually start selling the USDCHF. Uh, I'm expecting it to come all the way down until this support here. And then from this support we can actually start buy for the USDCHF and it actually should continue to go all the way up I believe until this previous support here. But let me just take one more look at the USDCHF because uh, there is a lot of ups and down here and the pair is not easy to prepare. As I said, uh, it has to reach this support, I believe. This support right here. Yes, I think this is what will gonna happen. USDGPY, uh, USDCHF should actually come all the way down here, hitting this previous support. This will be a very good point for buy. It might go a little bit more down, don't panic. But in general, this support level here is really strong uh, support zone. And the pair should actually be good for buy. And we can expect it to go all the way until this resistance. And then after hitting this resistance, we have to wait a price action to see if it will continue to go more up or will fall more down. Now, we cannot predict anything at, at the moment since I'm, uh, I'm on daily chart. I believe let's focus for the moment on this trade for buy on the support level for the USDCHF. And from this point and after that, we can see what will gonna happen and we can analyze it based on the price action will gonna appear on this week. So guys, I really hope it will be a very profitable week for everyone. Please be extra careful, especially when you trade the GPP pairs. Any GPP pair, please be careful when you trade it. Keep your eyes on the news. Anything can happen in the UK right now. It can actually shock the market. So guys, until then, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.